That guy right over there is living my dream. Welcome to Extreme Boating, recorded here on St. Lucia Estuary Beaches by Pietrus Viviers. Weisman is pushing no limits there while I've been watching at this interesting things happening on the lawn side. No limits is floating in the northern region of the channel. It's shallow enough in front of him. I mean it's deep enough in front of him. He's got a shallow enough draft to just shoot right out. But he's forced north. He's forced north. And he's in the gully and he's going for the midbreak. Come on, let's focus. Midbreak has opened up to the east for him. He's in airborne there and he's in front of that big one. Oh my goodness me. He's in the foam there but he's outrunning it. of a small vessel in a big break. Well done, no limits, happy hunting, enjoy the day. And the next moment the big rig of uh, Hanok is ready, checking all the life jackets, out on the boat like if they a well-oiled military machine. One of the faster vessels around here. I've been on it. I can attest to that. I think it will outrun Cruise Parade 2. I don't know about Sukula. Sukula I've never seen on speed. As I said, it's Tomcat. What length? No, it's top cat. I know it's two two hundred Suzuki's on the back. Keeping the trims high to make sure he doesn't eat sand on that expensive motor. The knock used to be an ace slider, but then somehow the trailer flipped. Something ran across the road. Or Eat hockey from the side or something, but uh, and not one is no more. It's uh, not working his way into the mid break, 45 meters north. Very safe exit. If things go wrong, you've got enough water to turn around. To, <coughs> to run more north. If you take 45 degrees south, you have to have your timing perfectly. You're hanking pushing Yosh there. Yosh rely on his skill to time the waves a lot. If he doesn't feel that he can get the timing right, doesn't push the day. And boy can he get the timing right. I wonder if you if anybody saw on this channel and floating around social media the fella that still dressed like an Indian on a yellow plastic tub with a one and a half horsepower Johnson or some even root on the back. That's Josh. 
that video I saw that that man has got raw talent in getting the timing right. South, he's far enough north if he turns, he turns into the gully, but he's not going to need to because he's got his timing right. Well done, Josh. The grip thingy is ready to launch. I would, would like to know what they call that. Thing. I've been watching it for a while on Facebook Marketplace. This is the tenth of the price of the jet ski, not quite the third of the price of the jet ski. Basically an output motor with seated two pontoons. I can love that thing. Oh that's nice. We first gotta turn the jet ski around. That's very polite. Heavy 20 yards too far into the dunes. Okay, now we're getting into the wash zone. And it's floating. Weissman standing back in the this part. The skipper is on. What safety checks are you running now, my friend? In the surf zone already. This motor is started. And the jet ribby thingy, the ribby thingy, outboard motor thingy is floating. And he started. Look at that. Guys, sorry, but I like this. I want to see how this goes through. It's very wet at the moment. Look at that. That's a big ocean. <laughs> Yes, but it can turn on a dime. They're making each other nervous there, but each other is way like that. You know the one wants to help the other one through the surf, but it doesn't work like that. Each one for its own. You couldn't see arriving here on the launch pad. Trying to figure out what that thing is going to do in the jet skis every time in the way. Sidestep. Work with 250 Mercury's. Dragging through the sand. Where's my jet? My ribby thingy. Is it safely in the gully? Has he got a problem with one of his rods over there? It looks like it. 
Okay, the jet ski has left, left the surf zone, he's gone out, the rubby thingy has to work his way through that. And he's got a cab. Got the agility and the speed, and he's using neither. He's using his skills to count to count the sets. <laughs> oh, what fun! I'll be surf fishing the whole day. I will forget something in the car every five minutes. I promise you. What fun! hunting enjoy the day that's some Kunzi being pushed by Wiseman floating nicely almost in the gully already pushing north Right into the gully. I'm watching this white tractor coming with a big boat. Anyway. Could be working his way towards the midbreak up north. And he's pushing for the midbreak. Climax, the new Climax is around. That is a Inkunzi going towards the back line. Found a nice gap, smooth right out. And well done, happy hunting, enjoy the day. Dirk and Dirk Roslia on the side step on that side Rango Chris Corf of Rango has arrived starting with two strokes making sure they're running well two strokes can handle that four strokes can't motors are running well at least one of them other one started Berkey keeping the revs high because he knows that they're still running in choke and they are very temperamental you engage gear while they're still running in choke they just shut down working his way into the gully Beautiful launch so far. It's not a launch yet, but the little boat maneuvers well in the big surf. Dirk has got a good handle on it, and Dirk found his gap right there, 45 degrees to the north. Very safe exit. Pushing a little bit south to get behind the back line. Well done, happy hunting, enjoy the day. Next one on the launch pad is Free Spirit. You can hear the 2200 starting as it's been pushed into the channel by Wiseman. Floating nicely. Watermark arriving. Working his 
way north. It's busy on the beach today. I don't know which way, which would have been the right angle. Got my spot, I have to stand my ground. Temptation arriving. You want to question and cover you bad. Looks like Tela 3 arriving. But I see lightning on the horizon in that beautiful sunrise. Was it just my imagination? Free spirit working towards the mid break. Get a better angle here. We put it going for the back line, pushing over. Got it. Happy hunting, enjoy the day. Chris Korf on Rango floating. Didn't get the push because there was tractors driving up and down. that his motor is trimmed right it's one of them not running why is he looking over his shoulder so much getting us nervous there Chris don't do that lying nicely in the gully there waiting for the big ones to wash through he's using his patient guys so there's nothing much to report on except Calafri is the next one to be pushed watermark is always loaded Climax the new boat is lying here on the launch pad and He's on the power. Now I can't remember the boat's name. Yo, that was a nice. He's on the power. Now I can't remember the boat's name. Yo, that was a nice. I want you there, riding it like a motor motorbike. Well done Chris, happy hunting, enjoy the day. Jala 3 being pushed.
beautiful sunrise to launch in today what a setting to have your office in and then a 800 sea cat with two 204 stroke suzuki's on the back a hole that can really really handle surf launching Nicely in the gully there, waiting it for the door to open in front of him. It is very, very, very closed up at the moment. We saw his gap. Nope, he's just lining up again. He's there on that peninsula sandbank. Not a very nice place to be, especially not with a big boat in the deep draft. working his way nice and smoothly through the mid break there although yeah today is a non-invent for Tella look at that beautiful launch right through the mid break going for the back line happy hunting enjoy the day temptation the next one on the launch pad it's got a St. Lucia number haven't seen it launching in a while Gonna get a lot of spray overs with that small vessel. He's working his way into the gully. This angle is 45 degrees to the north at the moment. But getting out of the gully is one thing. Getting through the mid break is another one. He's in a very nice position there, very safe zone. A nice safe zone. Beatrice, you must start getting your vocabulary right. They're going to replace you with, with a voiceover. Lying nicely in the gully, working his way towards the mid break. He's using the power and the speed of the small vessel to get through the mid break, 45 degrees to the south. But right in the mouth of the gully, very, very nice launch right there. 
a lot of Mabellan boats arrived on the scene. Happy hunting, enjoy the day. Sea Cat 800, that is what Climax is. Same as Tela 3. Johan Setis is coming, 204 stroke Yamaha's there. Hey, it's eating sand. Where's the boat? Yeah, it's in the viewfinder. Working his way north into the gully. To that sandbank that's a dangerous place to be with a big vessel like that oh my god no sorry about my language but that boat is in trouble that boat is in serious trouble oh no look at them eating sand ay 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 trim the motors up that helps a lot you got off the sandbank He's on the northern side of that peninsula sandbank over there. Still eating sand. And he's turning north back onto the sandbank. Oh my goodness me. Don't you watch the videos? It's running north 45 degrees. Those motors are no more brand new. There's 500 hours on those gearboxes right there, right now. Happy hunting, enjoy the day. Now watermarks turn to enter the channel. Weisman quickly pushing him nicely, getting speed, stopping short, getting over the lip. Now he must just turn the nose north. Difficult chop to work through. Hoor, ek moet nie laat uitlein oentje na by Pardet kom nie, asjeblief. Working his way north. He's also gonna run on that sandbank. No mark. He's taking it slowly, he got off the sandbank. Down a difficult channel. Working his way north. And he's got his gap. 21 foot butt cat. 21 foot health cat. With I think 2115. Four strokes Suzuki's on the back. Dream chaser on my shoulder. Happy hunting mark, enjoy the day. Guys, that peninsula sandbank there is shallow. It has caught Teller more than once during the Queens of the Ocean. It caught Walter the other day on the way back. It's right in front of that dugout over there. Petronella is floating. Intense went out with one motor yesterday. I haven't published the video yet. There's a lot of editing on the video to do. Got a lot of narration to do on the video. 
I was my hybrid self again yesterday. Camera doesn't like this angle. And when Tian is turning east, he's gonna run for this 45 degrees south exit. He's got a nice flat in front of him. Twenty-two foot V cat. Now I can't remember the mot motors on the back. Too many things happening at once. Dream are being pushed. Floating nicely. Going across the sandbank. Motor already hit sand once, but he's crossed the sandbank. He's going to find his cap right here to the east. Oh, that's a big one closing up in front of him. Running by right over it on its haunches. Another one closing up on him. It's turning north to get in front of it. Oh, but it's closing up all the way north. He got his gap 45 degrees to the north. Well done, Dream Chaser. Happy hunting, enjoy the day. You'll stay that wave down, sir. It's got a young boat there. Everybody is sitting down, so they expect the surf to be a little bit bumpy. Leon is going to probably use the speed of wave dancer. He's dragging the motors in the sand there. It's not deep enough yet. Lifted the motors up. Get it off the sand. One of the very few skippers that can ride his trim and tilt correctly. Already trimmed down again. Now he's taking his markers on the beach, watching the surf on his shoulder. He knows he's in front of the sandbank here on the south. He's going north. He likes running north. He's got the speed and the size of the boat. He can run north as far as he likes. And he normally, on a calm day, he somewhere just goes fishing. He Wiseman push him here and he runs north all the way to First Rocks. Today he gives me the opportunity to say happy hunting, enjoy the day, nice launch, well done. I don't say like a pro anymore Leon because you don't do it like a pro anymore. You are a pro. Battery flat, battery change.